is both a beautiful and practical ensemble. With a coat on, it's ideal for afternoon. Remove the coat, and voila, a cocktail dress for evening. Oh, Danny, they're all lovely, aren't they? Yeah, fine, fine. <laughs> Look what time it is. It's way past lunchtime, and I'm starved. Oh. That's what I get for bringing a man to a fashion showing. Okay, come on, let's go. What did you say? I said, let's go. What's your rush? You came to see a fashion show, let's see it. <laughs> and when the nights are warmer, what could be more seductive than this decollete sheath of silk? Boy, that's great material. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Wait, wait. And now, we proudly present our beautiful champagne cocktail. As full of life, excitement, and allure has the wine it is named after. Oh, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Not bad. It's not bad. It's divine. You want it, Irish? Danny. I think we'd better go and ask about it, huh? Oh, Danny, do you mean it? I mean, what about the price? How much could a dress cost? Come on. Here is both a beautiful and practical ensemble. Excuse me, uh, we, uh, we like that uh, glass dress, the one with the, the black... Uh, oh, no, it's our champagne cocktail. Yes, yeah, the one. Uh, how much is that? Uh, 5,000 francs, monsieur. Well, okay. Wrap it up for my girl here. How much is that in American money? Oh, 5,000 new francs. That will come to $1,157. Well, uh... uh Oh, we'll uh, think it over, if you don't mind. Of course, madam. Danny, Danny, I don't care if it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm not going to let you spend all that money on a dress. But, honey, I told uh, the Danny, girl... there are many other ways to use our money. There's the children's education, and there are saving bonds. Yeah, but... Spending it on a dress is just plain selfish. But... Why, I'd feel guilty and miserable every time I wore it. This way, I have the satisfaction of knowing that I've done the right thing, and I'm glad. Really glad. And now get me out of here before I start to cry. <laughs> you know, it's not just the initial cost of the dress. Do you realize how much you'd have to spend on accessories? Yes. Honey, there'd be shoes, an evening wrap, a necklace, earrings. Why, before I could even step out of the hotel with that dress, it would be a, a couple of thousand dollars. Yeah, not to mention the cost of an armored car and a couple of bodyguards. <laughs> well, Kathy, come on. Beautiful, yes. wasn't it? Yes, dear. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Come on. Let's go. And what a beautiful name. Champagne cocktail. Look, Kathy, that dress is gonna haunt you. Come on, I'll buy it for you. Come on. Oh, Danny, you wouldn't. What do you mean I wouldn't? Why not? We, we can always swim home. <laughs> you were joking. I wouldn't be joking if I wasn't positively sure if I walked you back there. The minute I get to the door, you're gonna stop me and say, Oh, Danny, don't be silly. <laughs> oh, come on. No, you come on. No, no, I want you to come on. I'll show you. <laughs> well, we're at the door. <laughs> Aren't you gonna say, Danny, don't be silly? <laughs> Kathy, please say, Danny, don't be silly. Come on, silly. <laughs> May I speak to you for a moment? Yes, of course. Honey, why don't you run on ahead? I'll be in a minute. 
Au revoir, madame. What's on your mind? I, I couldn't help but hear your conversation with your wife. Uh -huh. And I must congratulate you. Such a woman is rare. A woman who will deny herself the pleasure of a cavern dress out of consideration for her husband. <laughs> and I said to myself, c'est la vie. C'est la vie what? That's the way life is. Women of less character possess such noble dresses. And this fine woman who most deserves it must be denied. What a pity. Marcel, there's, there's something rattling around in that French noodle of yours. Now, what is it? Monsieur, I happen to have a brother-in-law. Well, congratulations. <laughs> who has a sister. Yes. Who has a friend. Well, I can hardly wait for the next installment. And do you know who that friend is? A Charles de Gaulle? <laughs> of course not. Oh, I know. Napoleon. <laughs> you make a joke. <laughs> All right, who is the friend? The best seamstress in Paris, Jeannette Giroux. One glance at a champagne cocktail dress, and she will make you a copy that will be the same as the original, down to the last stitch in 24 hours. She will work day and night, using only the finest materials. And for all this, do you know what she will be satisfied to get? Five years in the Bastille? <laughs> no, monsieur. Only one hundred dollars. Wait a minute, let me get this straight. You say that your brother-in-law's wife's friend, Mrs. Seamstress, and she can make a copy of that Cavan original for a hundred dollars? Plus a small percentage for my services. A small percentage for your service. How small? Another hundred dollars. <laughs> That's a small percentage. Monsieur, I have overhead. And besides, it's not enough to have only the dress. One must also have the genuine carbon box to put it in. And the label. Yeah? And how do you go about getting the genuine box with the label? There are ways. <laughs> like stealing? You bite your tongue. I'm a legitimate businessman. I would never say never. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. However, our sister... Oh, here we go again. Who has a brother-in-law? Who has a friend? <laughs> who steals? <laughs> That's all I need. No, I don't, besides, I, I, I couldn't give my wife a, a, a copy. I just couldn't. She will never know it is a copy. She will delight in the thought that she is the owner of a carven original. Just think, Monsieur de Joy, you will bring your wife the happy gleam in her lovely eyes uh, <laughs> when she sees the dress of her dreams. <laughs> I don't know. Monsieur, I beseech you for her sake. What do you mean? How can I pull a sneaky trick on my wife for her sake? Well, then, do it for my sake. <laughs> I'm a beautiful guy, struggling to support a wife and six children, <laughs> all big eaters <laughs> and one drinker. <laughs> I don't know. What if there's a slip-up and my wife finds out that I slipped her a phony dress? Why should there be slip-ups? Well, uh, I don't know, but what if there is one? You know what would happen to me? Yes, as we say in France, votre roi sera bien cuit. I don't know what you say in France, but in America they say my goose would be cooked. That's what I said. <laughs> in France it would be cooked so much better. <laughs> Yeah, my wife's out shopping. Oh, you got it, huh? Well, let's see it. A perfect copy. Holy Toledo, it looks like the real thing. The box, the label, everything. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. I have a feeling this is gonna get me in a lot of trouble. Trouble? Yeah, trouble. 
I don't know why I ever let you talk me into this in the first place. Because you want to make your wife happy. Is it going to make my wife happy if they throw me in a French who's gal? <laughs> you know what they'll do to me if they find out that I made a copy out of a, out of a Scarvan original? They'll throw the book at me. How oh, can they find out? You're not going to show it to them. <laughs> oh, well, even so. I, I just don't like cheating my wife. <laughs> Is it cheating your wife to make her happy? Oh. <laughs> Believe me, Mr. Williams, it doesn't matter that the dress is not the original, as long as your wife believes it is. Then she will wear it with assurance. It will change her whole personality. She will enter a room with poise, <laughs> detachment. She will move with superb grace <laughs> and elegance. She will be transformed into a beautiful, glamorous, Seductive Tantress. <laughs> will set your blood on fast. <laughs> Maybe you should wear the dress. <laughs> I got carried away. We friends are very emotional. No, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Marcel. Give me the top. Give me the top. I, I can't do it. I, I can't do it. Take That's it back. It. Look, you won't lose your overhead. You can keep the overhead, but I just cannot deceive my wife. I'm sorry. Hi, darling. Hello, dear. <laughs> Hi. How are oh, you, honey? What's that? Oh, uh, Ma Ma Mar Ma Marcel got me some some ties. Ties? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Danny, you didn't. Yeah, I, I, you I, didn't. I, I oh, I did. you did. Oh, Danny, you shouldn't have. I told you we couldn't afford it. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? Oh, Danny, I I can't wait to try it on. Oh, you wonderful, extravagant, crazy nut. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I I'm simply mad about it. It's the most beautiful present I ever got. And I'm taking it back to Carvan first thing in the morning. <laughs> I said I'm taking it back first thing in the morning to Carvan. Oh, no, you can't, you can't take this one. I mean, I mean, honey, you, 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 you can't take it back. Danny, I'm going to, and you're not going to stop me. Why, I'd feel like a criminal every time I wore it. No, it's going back to Carven. You, 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 you really, really mean you want to? Yes, I do. Well, all right, then. I'll, I'll take it back for you first thing in the morning. No, no, you won't. I'll take it back myself. I don't trust you. You'd either ship it home or you'd check it somewhere until it would be too late to return it. No, I'm going to take it back myself. I'll return it to Carven and get your money back. <laughs> Madam, you mustn't do that. What do you mean, I mustn't do that? Uh... Well, what he means is you you shouldn't do that. That's what I mean. Uh, yes. It'd be wrong, dear. Very wrong. Very. Uh, ter terribly wrong. I mean, you, you, you shouldn't, uh, uh, you shouldn't uh, deny me the privilege, darling, of, of seeing that look on your beautiful face every time you wear it. You, oh. you, you shouldn't deny him the privilege. That's right. But it's so expensive. Oh, what are you worried about the cost? After all, you can't wear money, you know. You can't wear money. You know, <laughs> what's it for? It's supposed to be used to make your loved ones happy, and you're my loved ones. And don't take this one back. I mean, honey, please, keep it, sweetheart. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's let your keeping it be, be your gift to me. I'm sure you are a poet. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Oh, Danny, that's sweet. Giving me a genuine carven dress. Danny, you're the sweetest, kindest, most generous husband in the whole world. <laughs> Glad I found you before you went out, Mrs. Williams. How did you know I was Mrs. Williams? Because you are wearing the dress. What, that's why I came. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, madame. I don't know how I could forget. Why? Is something wrong with the dress? Yes. The shearing. Marcel was such in a hurry. After I bring you the dress, I realize I forgot to sew the hem. Oh. Where is Monsieur Williams? I must apologize. Oh, he, he just dipped out to buy some cigars. Lucky I found you. It won't take a moment to fix it. Oh, well. 
I don't know how to apologize. Oh, don't worry about it. I can't help worrying. It's my nature. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of my work. When I make a copy, it's a perfect copy. <laughs> Would you mind repeating that? I say when I make a copy, it's a perfect copy. But even Calvin herself wouldn't tell the difference. If you didn't know that your husband pay only $100 to make this copy, wouldn't you be fooled? Yes. I certainly would be fooled. <laughs> How come you haven't got the dress on, honey? Oh, I'm not wearing it. Why not? I thought you loved it. Oh, I do. I do. Well, then why aren't you wearing it? Because, darling, I, I can't help thinking about how much money you paid for it. <laughs> Will you stop talking about the money? I, it's vulgar. Now, look, baby, I, I've made a reservation at Maxine's. It's a very snazzy joint. I'm going to wear a dinner jacket, you wear that creation, and you'll be the loveliest woman there. Now, come on, be a good kid and slip it on, huh? I can't, Danny, and I won't. Why not, Angel? Because if I wear it, Angel, Carven won't permit me to return it. <laughs> return it? First thing in the morning. Oh, Clancy, I thought we went all through that. We did. That's why we don't have to go through it again. But, Kathy... Oh, Danny, don't worry. I'm going to return it with my own two little hands and see that you get your entire refund back of $1,100. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that lovely view. And tell the truth. Does it make Paris look beautiful from the Eiffel Tower? Look, I'm not interested in your Paris or the Eiffel Tower right now. Do you realize my wife is going to take that phony dress back to Carvan in a couple of hours? She cannot return to Carvan a dress that is on sale. She cannot, she cannot, but she's going to. Ah, oh, what a catastrophe. <laughs> For you, and I hope they send you to Devil's Island. But that they cannot do. What do you mean, they cannot do? They can send you to Devil's Island. <laughs> Me? It's not my wife who's bringing back a copy. It's your wife. Yeah, and it's not my head what's going to have lumps on it. It's your head. <laughs> civilized, Monsieur. Civilized? Don't you understand what's going to happen to me if my wife finds out I pull this phony trick on her? Yes. As we say in France, vous serez dans une maison de chien. I don't know about that, but I'll be in a doghouse for a month. That's what I said. <laughs> Come and sit down, Monsieur. And let me think. Think? You better think of something. <laughs> you say Madame is in the beauty parlor? Yeah, yeah. Well, before she's finished there, we rush to Carven and we buy the original. Uh -huh. Then we rush back to your hotel and we exchange it for the copy. Oh, I get it, I get it. Then when she does return the dress, she'll be returning the original. Well, uh, so your money is refunded. You are still a noble hero to your wife. And it has cost you nothing. Good boy. But a small additional fee. <laughs> For what? Monsieur, my overhead. <laughs> All right, come on. I mean it, but you'll see. I'm going right in that shop and return this dress. Okay. <laughs> Don't try to make me change my mind. Oh, I won't, I won't. I know you'd feel guilty wearing it. So what's the sense of keeping it? Well, 
I could get used to the idea, you know. Oh, yeah. You, you wouldn't want to do that, Kathy. I mean, you'd hate yourself for spending all that money. You, you better take it back. Go ahead, dear. All right, you're right. I'll take it back. Okay, take it back. <laughs> I've made up my mind there's no use arguing. I'm not arguing, dear. I know how you feel about it, so go, go ahead. Take it back. All right. Here I go. So go. <laughs> you know, they'll probably look it over very thoroughly before they return the money and ask a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> There's a lot of money involved, you know. Yeah, I know. Oh, you make me so mad! <laughs> Such nerve. Why, what'd I do? Oh, don't stand there with that innocent look on your face. You should be pleading with me not to return this dress, squirming like the worm you are. Why, why? If I were to go through with my bluff and return this copy, you'd be in very large trouble. Copy? <laughs> it so happens that that one is... I mean... Uh, <laughs> I mean what makes you think that's a copy? I don't think. I know. Huh? The seamstress who made it came to the hotel to fix the hem, and we had a nice little chat. Oh. <laughs> so I suppose naturally... Since it's only a copy, you're not gonna return it? And get you into trouble? I couldn't be that mean, even if you do deserve it. Anyway, I don't actually mind that it's a copy. Now I can at least wear it without feeling guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Marcel, I've been waiting for you a long time. What happened? What happened? Come over here. Tell me all about it. What happened? Monsieur, your worries are over. Oh, good. As soon as I observed your wife leave the hotel, I sneaked in and substituted the real copy for the fake copy. Fine, 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 fine. Fake copy. You mean the original, you nut. <laughs> <laughs> so now your wife not only believes she has a carbon copy, but she really does. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, what, what happened with the fake copy? You mean uh, the original, you nut? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the original. Monsieur, I followed your instructions to the letter. Good. I took it straight back to Calvin, and here is your refund. One thousand dollars. Great. Oh, Marcel. One thousand dollars? That dress cost me eleven hundred. Where's the other hundred? Monsieur, I, I'm terribly sorry, but, uh, well, uh, there were expenses. And, uh... <laughs> then with your overhead? Please, monsieur, I am a man of honor. Could I charge you overhead when I realize the fault is mine? Could a decent person do such a thing? Well, then what do you do with the other hundred? Monsieur, it, it seems that someone has found out about our little scheme. Uh, an informer. An informer? Yes. And he had to be silenced. It is a serious offense to copy a, an original creation. And this informer is a person with no scruples, no integrity. Either I bought his silence or we'd be lost. Cost a hundred bucks, huh? And cheap, monsieur. He wanted more. Oh. Well, can he depend on his silence? Are you sure he'll keep his mouth shut? I'm sure he will. How can he be so sure? Because he is me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>